Hey everyone, it's Logan here, and I wanted to give you an update on the pinball machine. Now you can see it's still in a bit of disarray. I've actually, I think I'm giving up on the multi-ball, not because I can't do it, but because it'd be so complicated, uh, I just don't really want to. So I'm going to make this one a little bit simpler, and then the next one with the Arduino I'll have multi-ball and all that. I'll get into that more as we go along with all those circuits, but right now this is going to be the scoreboard. I am actually going to add a fifth chip on here for a fifth position. But for now, I wanted to go over how this is going to work. So right now, I have four 4026 timer chips. And uh, technically, they can operate with a clock signal. But I'm going to go through how this is all wired. It took me a little bit to find a circuit that works. And there's actually quite a few examples of these on the internet. And so I, I can't say that it's wholly my own circuit, but I ended up using a combination of these two and I'll try to get the links in the description, but a lot of it was just searching on Google and then doing some experimenting and uh, finding what works. So basically these 4026 chips have 16 pins. So eight down here, eight up there, and they actually start down in this corner and they go counterclockwise. So one through eight and then nine through 16. So, to go over real quick, uh, one is your incoming signal. So, when I click this button, this is just the test override, it increments by one. And number two and number eight are grounds. So, they're going directly to zero volt or, uh, you know, the minus voltage. Uh, positive voltage is 12 volts, and that's number 16 and number three. And numbers six, seven, and nine through 13 are all resistors. These are 680 ohm resistors. And they're going directly to these. These are 1.8 inch blue, as you'll see in a second, uh, seven digit displays, seven segment displays, sorry. And they go by this. And it was really actually kind of hard to find this. The trick here, pin one, is down here at the bottom left if you're looking from this angle but then the part that they don't really tell you is again it goes counterclockwise so you have one through five down here and then six through ten up here and so i had to give this to it so pins one through four uh, five and one get jumped together eight is the decimal place so i'm not actually using that so then you have six through ten up here and this is all running off of 12 volts. Now, as you'll see in a second here, this one's actually damaged because something got shorted back here when I didn't realize it, and it was sending basically 12 volts directly to it, or it might have been here. I'm not sure. Something got shorted somewhere, and this went from blue to orange to red and then burn out before I could actually turn it off. Um, so I got another one coming there, uh, but they come from China, so they take a little bit. And what else? Uh, number five will end up connecting over to the number one of each successive relay, five to one, five to one. And that's the increment, uh, sorry, the carryover for the next increment. So when this one gets to nine, you trigger it again, it sends one over here. But it is also possible if you sync this input, number one input to ground, for that chip to also then count up. Uh, the only problem I'm having there is that it kind of skips a lot. It's very sensitive. So if you see real close here, I've got 12 volts going to a switch. And from the other side of the switch, it's going over to number one. And there's also a 0 0.01, I believe it is. Point, uh, yes, 0 0.01 microfarad, very small capacitor, that's going between the two legs. So where 12 volts comes into one leg, that's one side of the capacitor. The other leg going out, that's the other leg of the capacitor. And that really smooths it out on this one. But when I was putting capacitors on this one, it didn't seem to smooth it out. It like it would just stop working. So I've got to work on this, get it a little bit smooth, because sometimes if the trigger is too fast, it'll actually trigger multiples, I think, because of the, the, the shakiness of the connection. You know, it'll connect, disconnect, reconnect before it actually makes good solid contact. So I gotta figure that out. Now this circuit is also specifying a 22 microfarad capacitor up there at the top. Uh, when I did that directly with 12 volts, it got super hot and I started smelling it. 
Uh, so I ended up putting a resistor across there too, um, between it and ground. And that seems to have taken care of that, but now I don't know if it's actually going to be effective or not. So I'm gonna have to play around with that. This one has some transistors and some other a diode and some other capacitors, and I may have to play around with that, but I've completely gotten rid of this, these transistors. I just didn't find them necessary at all. Uh, the circuit seems to work perfectly fine. Oh yeah, and there's also a 10,000 ohm resistor on each one of these going between um, 15 and ground. 15 is your reset, by the way. So they're all wired into the same reset pin. When 12 volts goes to reset, they reset they all go to zero uh, and there's a 10,000 ohm resistor there and there's a 1,000 ohm resistor uh, going between 15 and ground uh, for all of these or no sorry that is 10,000 one second okay it is a 1,000 ohm resistor going between pin 1 and 0 uh, on the first chip but when I do that on the subsequent chips, then it doesn't work. It doesn't increment whether I touch 12 to the pin or 0 to the pin. Then it just won't increment at all. Not sure what's going on there. I'll figure it out. Anyway, for now, and then I'll have a fifth chip here for the fifth digit. So let's turn it on. And, of course, we're not still not quite done. There will be another connector here, you know, like those uh, EPS connectors there. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn this on here. There we go. Now, oh, here's where it is. It's this one. This is the broken one right here. But that's fine. This is the one that burned out. So for now, we can hit this increment. And every time we increment, there we go. And we can keep doing this. And it goes all the way up through all of them. Let's get up to a higher number here. All right, so now we got a higher number there. And we'll just go through this real quick here. Boom, there we go. And that just keeps working its way all the way down. But you can also adjust individual pins, which is how I got this up the way it is. I just triggered those. But now we can also take the reset pin, and we can touch that to 12 volt. And it resets. It all goes to zero. So... Works pretty well, and these are very bright. Now, currently working on 12 volts, they're very, very bright. Uh, I can actually turn this whole circuit down to 5 volts, and it will work just fine. These will just be a little bit more dim. Uh, and, of course, these are available in different colors as well to suit your needs. So I figured I'd give you a little bit of a, an update here. And once I get all five of them going and uh, you know all put in place, I'm actually going to get some switches on here. Of course, you know, as, you know, once the special... Uh, are on then they'll get like 10 points per and once these specials are turned off uh, then these will only give uh, 107,000 and there'll be some things like that and so that's why I need to be able to trigger these each individually as well as needed so uh, that's it thanks for tuning in stay tuned get subscribed to see the rest of it and uh, have a great day